Hello students, presenting to you here laser system and application for your B.Tech courses. Please subscribe to the channel before continuing to hear the lecture series. Let us begin. Laser. Now, this unit consists more of uh, your uh, specification on coherence. Temporal coherence, spatial coherence, longitudinal coherence, and numericals on the same. Other important thing is relationship between Einstein coefficients. So these two points, spatial coherence, temporal coherence, and relation between Einstein coefficient, and small numericals on the basics of laser are important points in this unit. Let us begin. Now, section A, you might be asked small question like, what does laser stand for? Laser stands for light amplification by stimulated emission of radiation. And the principle behind laser is stimulated emission of radiation. Section B, Five mark question, write a detailed description of the properties of laser beam. Laser beam has many properties, but the ones you are going to highlight are even important for your numericals. So laser beam is highly directional, highly intense, monochromatic, Coherent, you can remember it short form like DIMC. That means directional, intense, monochromatic, coherent. Let us discuss it in detail. Highly directional. That means as you can see here in this figure, ordinary light is spreading, but our laser light is highly directional. And you can expect numericals on this formula that if lambda is the wavelength of light, D is the diameter of the aperture or opening through which your light beam is emerging and angle of divergence or the spread, then theta is equal to beta lambda D where beta is a constant de depending on parameters of beam and its value usually is unity. So, angle is arc upon radius. Next property of laser, laser light is highly intense. See, ordinary light is spreading in all directions, whereas laser light is in a specific defined direction and it is highly intense. Due to the high directionality, the intensity of laser beam reaching the target is very high. It is of high intensity. So in this expect a numerical on the formula, uh, how much the intensity is given by power upon area, where if P is the power of source at a region and radius is B, where incoming beam is being focused, then intensity is given by P upon pi B square. B here is the radius of the spot size at focal plane of a lens of focal length F and A is radius of the laser beam. Monochromaticity. Laser beam is highly monochromatic. The wavelength is single, whereas in ordinary light like mercury vapor lamp etc., many wavelength of light are emitted. Coherence, that means this is a very important property of laser beam. Laser beam, see ordinary light source here and the incoherent beam. And here you can see laser source giving you a coherent beam. You can see it is clear in this diagram only. That in lasers, the wave train of same frequency are in phase relationship with each other. And in ordinary light, they are not in phase. And due to high coherence, it is going to result in an extremely high power brightness. It is defined as the power emitted per unit surface area per unit solid angle. So light from laser is much more brighter than your ordinary light. 
and brightness formula is given by power of the source upon area into solid angle. So if P is power of laser beam of wavelength lambda, spot size at an output D and the brightness B is given by 4P upon pi theta d whole square where theta is angle of divergence or spread. So laser light and ordinary light, what is the difference? In ordinary light, our angular spreading is more whereas in laser light, the angular spreading is less. Ordinary light is not directional whereas laser light is highly directional. Ordinary light is less intense, whereas laser light is highly intense. Ordinary light is not in phase, whereas laser light is in phase. Examples of ordinary light, sunlight, mercury vapor lamp, etc. Laser beam is emitted by, you can state any laser like helium neon laser, carbon dioxide laser, etc. Now, this question is asked a lot in section A and B both. What do you mean by coherence length and coherence time? How do you calculate coherence length or how do you define the coherence property of laser beam and discuss in detail spatial coherence and temporal coherence? This is important. So let us begin. What is coherence? Now look at this diagram. This light is not coherent. It is incoherent, spreading in all directions. But this is a coherent laser light. So all the waves will be exactly in phase with one another. And coherence basically refers to the degree of correlation between the phases at different points in a beam of light. Okay, now coherence are of two types, temporal and spatial. Very, very important. Temporal coherence and spatial coherence. See, temporal coherence, this is also known as longitudinal coherence and spatial coherence is known as transverse coherence. Temporal coherence. Now look at this diagram. It is basically a measure of the relationship or the correlation like you must have heard in mathematics correlation matrix. So the relationship between the phases of a wave at different points along the direction of wave propagation are coherent or they are in correlation. This happens in temporal coherence and if the phase difference of the waves crossing the two points lying along the direction of wave propagation are independent of time. That means as you can see here in this figure, the phase is remaining constant. Then we say that it is co temporal coherence and laser light is highly coherent, especially the temporal part. Now, suppose our light wave is moving like this. This is amplitude, the wavelength. The amount of time till which my light is in the coherent path is known as coherence length. So, the average time for which there is a perfect sinusoidal emission is known as coherence time. We represent it as tau c and till the time my light wave is coherent, we will say the corresponding length is known as coherent length. And after the elapse of this coherent time, the correlation will not exist. Laser light will start behaving like ordinary light. We know that the formula for distance is speed into velocity. Laser light travels with speed of light. So the coherent length is given by L is equal to C into tau C, where L is the coherent length see the speed of light numerically equal to 3 into 10 to the power of 8 meter per second and tau c is the coherent time. Thank you.